Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I shall be explaining you a numerical on UDP header format. In one of my previous video session, I have explained about the UDP header format. So based on that, a numerical can be asked a very simple type of question, but definitely you'll be able to answer only if you remember the header format. That means the different fields that are there in the UDP header and the number of bits that are meant for each of the fields in the UDP header. If you remember those things, then you will be able to answer this question very quickly. The question states that, so here for your reference, I have just uh, written the header format for UDP. There are four fields. This is the simple protocol as well having a very uh, simple header format also. Four fields are there, source port address, destination port address, total length checksum. Each of these fields has got 16 bits. And you can see the uh, packet format for UDP, which normally we have to call it by the name user datagram. So the format for the user datagram is what? The header is 8 bytes. The remaining will be the data. And also in my previous video session, I have explained you what should be the uh, maximum value of the data in the UDP. U, uh, UDP uh, that is UDP user datagram. The, here the question is the following is the content of the UDP header in hexadecimal format. So this is the given question. They have given few numbers here. So each of these numbers, whatever is given here is in hexadecimal number, isn't it? So if what will happen now if it is in hexadecimal, each one indicates here 4 bits. You just try to find out here, it is very simple also since you have for each of the field 14 uh, bits, then you can uh, easily identify the first 4 bits are for the, the first 4 numbers are for the source address and that is how many, these are only, these are 16 bits only and this is what the source address, source port address. The next 16 bits are what? Destination port address. The next 16 bits are for the total length. And this the last 16 bits are for the checksum. So you have to just write down the values here. Very simple. Find out what is the decimal value in each of this case and write. The first one is source port number is given as CB84. This is in hexadecimal. So you have to write down the decimal value that gives you the source port number. It is very simple here. So what is the uh, decimal value? 52,100. This is the source port number. Second, four numbers indicate the destination port number, which is 16 bits. The value given in hexadecimal is 00D. Okay, convert this into decimal. The decimal value for this is 13. So 13 is what the value for the destination port address. What is the total length of the datagram? Total length is 16 bits. The value given is 001C. So you convert this into decimal. How much you will get? 001C is 28. So we can write down, yes, the length of this user datagram is 28 bytes. What is the length of the data is the question here. What is the length of the data? So always you know that total length is data plus header. So data will be what? Total length minus header. What is the value for the total length? It is uh, just now you calculated no 28. Header we know it is 8 bytes. So 20 bytes is the value. So this user datagram carries 20 bytes of data. Is the pa packet directed from a client to a server or vice versa? Transport layer works in client server paradigm. This is the client and the, this is the server. Here they are asking you to find out whether the packet is traveling from client to server or is it traveling from server to client? This is the question. So how to find out? This can be easily determined by finding out the port address of what the server. Because all the port numbers that are assigned towards the server are the well-known port numbers. Now, to find out what is the range for the well-known port numbers, in one of my video session also I have given, it is ranging from 0 to 1023. All port numbers in this range are called as well-known port numbers. And these are the port numbers assigned to the different services that are running at the application layer, at the server side. In this case, if you see the destination port number is 13. 13 lies in this range 0 to 1023 and it is what? It is a destination port number and it is a well-known port number. That means if the destination address is 13 here, okay, destination port address is 13, that means the packet is traveling from 
if this is the destination then this the packet becomes the packet is initiated from the client so it is it is starting from source client becomes the source and server is the destination isn't it so here if this is the, the the packet is starting from the client towards the server side you can write the packet is directed from the client and it is reaching the server what is the client process client process is the client uh, the client process particularly this uh, 13 yes this 13 is assigned with a name of uh, the name for this particular process you should know so there is a table in the textbook for which the most popular services or the popular port numbers and the respective process name is given so you have to remember that this 13 this 13 is assigned the process name is daytime the process name is daytime so you can write down the answer for this is what daytime process what is the client process so the client in this case the client is making a request to the server okay and the server is replying to the request and that process that is replying is the daytime process so this is how you have to solve it you can see here the answer source port number is 52100 uh, the destination port number is 13 which is a well known port number total length of the user datagram in this is 28 bytes the length of the data is 20 bytes and the packet is directed from the client to the server the client process is daytime so very simple just remember the fields you will be able to answer even this particular question can be asked for 4 to 5 marks easy if there are here how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 yeah 6 it can be asked for maximum of 4 to 5 marks. So, this is how you have to solve a given numerical on. Hope the session is useful to you all. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.